In this video, you're going to create a fully responsive picture gallery using what you learned so far in Flexbox. So your gallery is going to consist of a few columns where your pictures are going to be stacked. So the width of the container is going to affect how many columns are going to be inside your container. So if the container becomes too small, then you're going to have only one column with your pictures stacked one on top of the other. And if you increase the width of the container, then you're going to have two columns, then three columns, then four columns. All right. So let's go ahead and build this. To save time, you can start with the starting source code, which you will find attached to the resources of this lecture. So you're going to have your index.html file where I placed all the HTML components for this project. So this includes the container, which is a div of class container. And then inside the container, I've got a few divs. Each div has got a class column and it's got images inside it. So I've got four divs with the class column with each div having pictures inside it. And you've got all the images available inside the images folder. So all you need to do is download this starting source code to save time. And then inside the styling.css file, we're going to place all our styling. So to start, I added the box sizing property set to border box to make sure that all elements inside our, our web page account for their border and padding when it comes to setting their dimensions. And this helps to make setting the dimensions easy and clear. All right. So at the moment, we've got this container with four divs inside it. And inside each div, we're going to have a number of pictures. So the pictures at the moment, they show the same width. And the reason behind that is that the dimensions of the pictures I used are all about 640 pixels. And that's why you see the same width for all pictures. But you can use any picture of any dimension and it should work just fine with this project. Because the pictures anyway are going to adjust in width later on when we place them inside the columns. Okay? And you will see how that works in a bit. So first of all, Let's have a look at our final project and see what we want to achieve exactly. So you've got this big container with columns inside it. So we've got one column sitting next to the other, which looks like a flex box with elements using the row direction, right? Okay. So what you need to do is just to go to the container and transform it to a flexbox. So that's going to be our first step. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to convert the container to a flexbox by giving it a display property, which I'm going to set to flex. Okay, so let's go to the live preview, make sure that everything works. So here we go. So that's a first change. So you can see that we've got four columns there. But the pictures are quite big compared to our final website. In the final website, you can see that the columns occupy one quarter of the full width of the container in a big screen like this. Well, currently they occupy almost half of the screen width. Well, the thing is, the pictures at the moment, they actually take as much space as they need to fit their original dimensions. And that's because we haven't set their width to anything so far. So what we can try first before looking at the pictures 
is to ripe our elements so that they don't overflow on the right hand side of the container. Let's go ahead and try that. So I'm going to go to the container and set the flex wrap property to wrap. All right. So this looks better. We don't have any overflowing, but we've got only one column at the moment. Well, in reality, we still have our four columns there, but one is actually stacked on top of the other. Now to make sure everything is clear, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give each column a background color so that we can see what's happening really. But before we do that, let's just change the content of our columns to something really simple for now. So I'm going to place one letter inside each column and let's see what we've got. So these are our columns. Let's give each one a background color. So let's select the first column. So I'm going to go to the column class and then I'm going to use the nth child like this to select the first column and give it a background color of a sky blue, for example. Here we go. Let's select the second column and give it a nice violet red color and let's take the third one and give it a green color and then the last one and give it a light coral color, for example. Okay, so these are our columns occupying a minimum width at the moment. So what we need to do, we need to make sure that each column occupies roughly one quarter of the width of the container in a big screen like this. And then we'll see later how to make that decrease to three columns, two columns, and then one column on a small screen. So if you remember, the property we need to be looking at here is flex grow. So whenever one item has got a flex grow or one flex item has got a flex grow property, then the full width of that row is going to be occupied. And then you can also remember that we used the short flex property to make things easier. So what we want to do, we want to distribute the width equally between all these divs, okay? So to do that, I'm going to use the flex property and apply it to each column. So let's go and select the column class and set its flex property to a certain value. So since we want them to have the same width, I'm going to give them the same value, all of them. For example, one. So now we can see that each column is occupying at the moment one quarter of the width of the container. All right, in the next video, you're going to put the pictures back inside your flex items and sort out their sizing.